dear young people in the room, and dear press. I'm very delighted and honored to participate in the first ever Nigeria Health Watch Forum with the theme, Elephant in the Room. Men as change agent in the family planning discourse. I wish to congratulate the management and the staff of Nigeria Health for successfully convening this dialogue to draw attention to issue of family planning. Now, this room is full of expert specialists, so I'm not going to make the lesson to you. I just want to remind us few elements. Nigeria has made a lot of progress already in family planning, yet there is a lot to do. Uh, yet, as of today, Nigeria contributes to about 40% of the global burden of maternal death. Every day in this country, 110 women die while trying to give birth. That's a fact. Our role at UNFPA in family planning, it's we are committed to help Nigeria to deliver a future where every pregnancy is wanted, every childbirth is safe, and every young person potential is fulfilled. This room and the brilliant panelists in this room today are all expert. So just a few words to introduce my organization. But I think the real theme today is men as change agent. So, then, let's talk about love. Family planning is about love. The government has done its part and is doing its part. Government is contributing to the budget at the national level already. All the partners here present are contributing, all of us. How can we make a change? Uh, the brilliant first uh, panelist said that uh, we are less rounded. 200 million people in Nigeria. How do we reach those who are not in this room? How do we reach those who don't have access to TV, to radio, etc., etc.? Because that's where the burden comes from. If we talk about love, let's talk about giving life the right way. Family planning is about sexual relation. Giving life, it's about sexual relations. But yet, all of that is about love, let's say at least 80% of the time, and about giving life. And what is missing is how do we involve men? Men are full in this room and they are fully involved. That's why, look at the panel here. We have passed that, but how do we involve the rest of the men? School of husbands, like in Mauritania or in Niger, yeah, and it works. It works. It's all about education. Um, I would like here to mention my goodwill ambassador, Stephanie Linus, the Nollywood star. Probably most of you have seen that movie, Dry. And that old man, even if he's only 40, the wife was 13 years old, so he's old. He wasn't that bad, that man. He simply didn't know. And his mother was playing the game. So it's about education, first of all. It's about education. When his young wife, 13-year-old wife, was trying to give birth, he was at the door, was almost crying for her, almost crying with her. That's another way to see that movie. But there was nobody there to tell him the way it should be done. That's one example. Another one, I lived personally in Mauritania. Another 13-year-old with a peasant, a nomad peasant from Mauritania, from far away. That young wife, while trying to give her, got a fistula. He brought her in the city. He sat for 15 days and slept at the door of the hospital to try to understand what was happening to his wife. He didn't know. We explained to him civil society, uh, us, 
He left, he said, never again. So I think if I ever have only one recommendation for an expert group of the, like this room, it's education everywhere. All sort of education. Here in this room, 90% of us are all believers. Then, how do we respectfully continue to believe what we do and to respect the way we bring life into this earth? Men have an extraordinary role to play. So I'm really grateful for this day. And I hope with your question and with this group today, we are, we are going to be able to do that. I thank you so very much. Men as agent of change in Nigeria is absolutely critical. You know, in most of society, everywhere in the world, men are considered to be the decision maker. So to make that happen, it's really to school men in different way, of course. Depending their level, it could be just raise the right awareness at their level. At the community level, make sure that any decision linked to women's life are shared with the men at the community, religious level, so that they know what to go about it. And what I often say is maybe instead of sharing about their wife, let's share about their daughters. So the men will understand more what it is at stake for the well-being of their daughters and the future generation. I think something that has worked very well is what uh, I call the school of husband in the community area level. It's simply to ease women's life in having those discussions during men's group to tell them what the life and health is about in the community, how they should be caring about the healthy life of their wives. Because, you know, family planning is as well to make it right for the woman first at the personal healthy level, but then to make it right at the family level because it's better to give birth to what you can afford to raise. It's very important. Nigeria is at the verge of becoming a developed country anytime soon. Economics is going back. So something is being done right in the country. But to be right, the population growth should be matching. That should be lesser so that the, all the population can uh, benefit, benefit the wealth that is being created in this country. That's why family planning is important. Thank you.